Hi everyone, so um, we're back from Superbooth and uh, we had a lot of nice reactions on our uh, new RK2 DUI firmware options and um, of course our RK5 USB MIDI host client. Um, so I kind of got inspired by all the random noises as well. And um, so when I was home I started uh, looking into some sequences again. Uh, and I thought, well, that M182 style sequencer from the old Roland system, I think it is, um, was very interesting to try out and translate to the RK2 DUI. So I noticed the similarities between the Nano Control 2 and the M182 sequencer, and I thought, hey, maybe I can make a special firmware on the RK2 to turn the Nano Control 2 in sort of an uh, yeah, sequencer controller. The um, M182 is small. It looks it looks small because it only has eight steps, just like the Nano Control 2. But um, the power in that uh, style of sequencer is that you can have a step length for every step in the in those eight uh, steps. Uh, most things are probably easier to understand when you hear them. <laughs> so I'll put on a demo for you soon. Um, Anyway, I used uh, the sliders on this uh, Nano Control 2 to uh, to set the uh, step length to one note or eight notes. I used these knobs here to set the um, note height, and I've used the R to indicate a repetitive step pattern. The M is a skip for this step, and the S is a short note or a long note, like a tight note or a short gate. Uh, once you hear it, you'll hear the difference. Um, I'll just uh, I'll just start a sequence which is now uh, in the RK2. So um, the Nano Control sends the CCs to the USB host, the RK5, and the RK5 translates it again to the RK2 in regular MIDI. RK2 inserts all the tempo notes and the whole sequence of stuff. So I'll just start it here. This is the sequence I have uh, programmed on beforehand already. Um, these are all eight steps. I can mute like these, and you hear it change. Now it only plays this one. These two. These three. These four. And again, I, now and now I can also make this step longer, like this. It only plays one. Uh, one note on this step, but I can choose also to be a repetitive one. Um, but because the notes are tied this way, I'll have to set them to single note with the S button. Now you hear they are uh, played individually, and, it, and uh, yeah, the sequencer or the RK2 in this case uh, changes altogether. So I can also use the same stuff on a second step. Steps. Add some more steps to it, and um, yeah, change the notes, of course. And yeah, somehow this all always comes together with a beat. So I'll add that one to it. Go. See, sort of the randomization of the sequence length makes it uh, really uh, interesting to hear. Well, not for all people, sorry, Albert. There you go. 
Um, what can I say? Uh, again, RK2 does all the sequencing stuff. RK5 hosts the Nano Control 2. Yeah, all in all, you have a very small system to make some very fun little sequences out of. Okay, thank you.